tension in Iran as a new president is elected. Hassan Rouhani spoke to the voters who chose him in a landslide over more conservative candidates. His victory Saturday brought wild celebrations throughout Iran. Euphoria and relief filled the Tehran air. The long wait was over for Iranians at home and abroad. A moderate cleric had been elected. When the cheers die down, Hassan Rouhani's victory will be followed by the challenge of repairing the damage done by eight years of growing mistrust between Tehran and the West and to restore a battered economy, daunting tasks for which he will need help. I'm proud that the great people of Iran, the honorable people, thought that I deserve this. They trusted me so that I can begin on the path to serve the country, to enhance people's lives and welfare, and preserve national pride and national interests. I deeply feel that I need your assistance along this path. I need you to be there. I need your cooperation. He is a relative moderate amongst a heavily restricted list of government-approved conservatives, and he is promising to take Iran on a less aggressive path with the international community. He has pledged to restore international confidence in Iran, create a ministry for women ensuring equal rights and pay, and to get international sanctions on Iran's energy and banking sectors lifted. Iran's economy is in its worst state for decades, with high inflation and soaring unemployment. But its regional importance means this election matters to the outside world. Rouhani is expected to hold a news conference on Monday. He's likely to face difficulty in his relationship with the parliament in forming a cabinet. He'll be inaugurated in early August, succeeding outgoing president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad.